are at the markets again. I'm not quite after plants today, but that won't stop me from looking at them anyway. Well, this was what I came here for. I needed a work hat. My wife was concerned that I've been working out. I've been working out in the sun without protection for my face. So she has been prodding me to get a cap for the longest time. Well, that day came. I wanted a plain one, but I couldn't find any. I guess a Stanley one is alright. I could pretend I'm sponsored by Stanley Workwear. Ha! <laughs> the other thing we come here for curly spots. Yay! And of course, Zach has to look at the fish. He loves the fish. These pebbles might look very familiar. This is the 7 mil Sahara and I use this as top dressing in some of my pots and as aggregate in my soil. And I brought my own spade just so I can do this. been a SoilWorks customer for about two years now and over the years I've been mostly getting pebbles from them. I've been using them as top dressing in my landscapes or as aggregates in my soil. I've also once ordered two cubic meters of lawn mix and I've used it to backfill most of the landscapes that you see now. We have over 60 lines of bulk and bag products. The ranges roll around, are all broken up into pebbles, mulches, soils, and crushed rocks. Most products are available in bags as well as bulk. Some are only available in bulk, it just depends on the product. The pebble range, they all come in 20 kilo bags. To get about one cubic meter, you're looking at about 50 or 60 bags. So it's much more affordable to get it delivered in bulk if possible, like if you're needing a large quantity. Unfortunately with that, just the labor process, but it is, it is a lot more cost effective. The mulches come in 50 liter bags. Again, same sort of thing, you're kind of looking at a large cost to get a one cubic meter, the same quantity in bags and then the soils and the sands and all the rest of it, they all come in 20 kilo bags depending on the product.
I'm here with Nikki and she's the sales and marketing manager and thank you for having me here. Not a problem, glad to have you. So I was looking at uh, grabbing a few bags of stuff here. Yeah. And uh, you, you've already walked me through the, the stuff that you have at, at the front. And I was wondering, because uh, you mentioned that you, ha you had uh, 20 kilo bags. Yep. Yeah. So all the pebbles come in a 20 kilo, come in 20 kilo bags. Yep. Um, so the first one off the black, off the rank is the volcanic black. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a 14 mil and it comes in a 20 kilo bag. Um, that's a lightweight product, so it feels a lot lighter than what a normal um, river pebble does. Right. And I've noticed that there are a lot of different sizes, so can you, uh, can you tell me what the sizes are? Yep, so depending on the range of pebbles, they range from uh, like a 20 mil, mm -hmm. and you can get them all the way up to 150 mil. Yeah. Although the 150 mil uh, pebble, they're not available in bags, they're only available yeah. in, um, in bulk, oh, yeah. uh, just because they don't fit in the bag. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Um, otherwise, then you've got like Utopia. They range thirty to eighty, yeah. um, and then it just—it really just depends on the on the rock and what and what's available. So here we are. We are looking at uh, bags of seven mil pebbles, and I'm sure you've seen me carrying a lot of these at home. I think I still have three bags at home. <laughs> <laughs> three bags of that one, Sahara. Yeah. Because I like how it's a bit brown, yellow, or white. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a lovely color. I usually grab a lot of bags of them because uh, I, I tend to mix them with my soil. And I find that here in Melbourne, uh, the climate allows allows for me to just use them rather than having to go all the way with scoria, volcanic rock. But it's nice to know that they also have volcanic rock in seven mils here. So, yeah, if you want, um, what, you, what a lot of landscapers do to improve the drainage of the soil or, and to make it a bit more lightweight. So a lot of people do it if they're planting on a rooftop, as an example, because um, the soil, they can't have that density of soil go up to the rooftop. They'll mix a 7mm uh, drainage pep, the drainage rock through the soil and it improves the drainage. It makes the product a bit more lightweight, so, um, so it's not as heavy and dense. So you have quite a selection in the front. Would it be possible for people to have samples, you know, with, with paint, with uh, tiles, we have swatches? Yeah. But how do you do it? Here? Yeah, absolutely. So at the front, um, we've got, like, you can actually see them, see all the products in a big bulk. So they're all in big wine barrels. And we've got available uh, some small little Ziploc bags. And you can just pack it in there and take it home and lay it out or, you know, look at the tiles, the existing tiles or what it, decking that you've got and see if it matches and contrasts against that. Uh, a whole lot. <laughs> so how much for everything? Fix us up next time, don't worry about it today. Okay, sold! <laughs> so after all of the trouble, we got a new cap. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought the one this morning from the market. I could have saved $5.
apart from their display of rocks, mulch, soil, and garden supplies, they also have a huge section in their showroom showing some finished landscapes. I would be properly covering this in another episode at some point. But there's lots of inspiration to take here. I'm on my way home now, rocking my new hat. And I'm still a bit bitter about the $5 cap. So these are all of the samples that I took from Soilworks. I also grabbed a couple bags of their soil. They have the garden soil and lawn mix, two different products. Apparently one would be more, one contains more organic stuff while the other is more gritty. And of course the pebbles. I took home six different bags. I'll be working on a bunch of videos reviewing each one and I'm pretty sure you've already seen me use some of them in my garden. So it looks like I secured my first sponsor. I'm really looking forward to where this partnership with Soulworks would take me. Because over the past two years, I've been a repeat customer, if not a loyal customer. I've never ventured to another store to get my landscaping supplies. So watch out for the reviews of these samples and I'll see you in the next episode. I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters and particularly Oscarino. You're awesome, man. If you haven't heard of Patreon, it's, it's a way for you to support creators like us. If you've enjoyed my content, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in the next episode.